In this final video for Lecture 1 on Biology and Learning, we'll be looking very shortly at the idea of emergence and interrelatedness. And I'll often use a plus sign to represent and from this point forward. Interrelatedness. So what does that mean? Emergence is simply the definition we can say is the idea of the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. So the whole is, let's say, greater than the sum of its parts. This is a very important concept in biology. What we have to remember is that the facts that you're going to learn this year and this semester are incredibly important. But what's more important than just those facts, those parts, are the overarching themes and goals that you'll see. Themes like evolution, themes like DNA, and uh, themes like natural selection, all these things that you're going to be seeing, these are overall themes that are greater than the sum of their parts. Knowing something like the bottleneck effect which is a type of microevolution, which helps understand natural selection and evolution, is important so that you understand the whole of evolution, that idea of evolution. So emergence is a topic that you have to keep in the back of your head as you learn things. Know that when you're learning those tiny facts and you're thinking in your head, oh, why is this useful? Why do I even have to know this? Know that those parts are very important so that you understand the whole story. That's the idea of emergence. So we can look at emergence by looking at interrelatedness of things. Um, specifically, what we can focus on is what are known as the levels of biological organization. This is something that you, from this point forward, are going to have to know through and through. This is something that's very important. Most of us already know this even before taking this course. The levels of biological organization are very simple. What happens is you are going to go from big to small. Overall, we start with the biosphere. This is everything. This is essentially what I like to think of Earth. This is Earth. Everything on Earth is the biosphere. Because biology is the study of life, the area in which the study of life happens, the where biology happens, is known as the biosphere. Within the biosphere, what we have is ecosystems. And everybody's heard of this term before. An ecosystem, more specifically, we can say is combination of living and non-living. So I'm going to write that down in parentheses. Living and non-living things. So an ecosystem is living and non-living things all together within a certain, let's say, area. And then within the ecosystem, we have a community. And a community now officially excludes, what do you think? The non-living, right? The community now only talks about um, living things, but we can say different organisms. So we'll say different organisms, but these organisms are at the same place at the same time. Same place and time, we'll say. And then within the community, we have populations. Just remember what we're doing here when we're talking about these organization levels. We're looking at emergence. This is the emergent property of life, that we're going to go from big to small, but all these small things add up to give us this biosphere, this beautiful thing that we can study to learn about biology. So, back to our population. populations. If these were, if a community was different organisms, same place and same time, population obviously is going to be the same organisms. And we'll define organisms a little bit later on in the course, what it means to be an organism at the same uh, place and time. And then populations goes down into, you guessed it, if we have the same organism, now we're going to go to the singular of organisms. Just organisms. So these are just one thing, you know, the individual now. We're at the individual level. IND will stand for individual. And then within an organism, look what it has. It has that word already here. Now we're going to start looking at organ systems. Organ systems make up an organism. The circulatory system, the immune system, the musculoskeletal system, etc. All of these things make up our organism. Within the organ system, what do we have? We have organs, of course. And within organs, we make up organs using tissues. And how do we make tissues? We use cells. And we're running out of space, but how do we make cells? We make 
we use organelles. Organelles make up cells. And then lastly, our lowest level of classification, the one that will start our journey in Rutgers General Biology 1 with our molecules. At the molecular level, we'll look at things. So we're going to work our way up. What we're going to be doing in Rutgers General Biology is this. We're going to be going in this way when we look at our information in Bio 115. We're going to be looking at molecular chemistry, and then we're going to be looking at cell biology, then we're going to be sort of building our systems up and up and up and all the way up to um, ecology, which is going to be in the ecosystem part of our Biology 115 lectures. So overall, what we notice here is that Biology is a beautiful subject because of this amazing property of emergence. Emergence, once again, means that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. The biosphere, in and of itself, contains all these parts, but we can truly appreciate it when we understand that all of these parts contain subparts and many, many details that all add up to give us the great subject that is known as biology. So that concludes our first lecture series on biology and learning. And we will continue our lecture series with our next lecture. Thank you.